What's up guys, Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 4 match in the NCL, season 5 of Striker, taking on Cade in the Tucson Tapu Coco, fucking Bullaby. Of course I see the Salazzle, which I didn't want to see. Okay, Coco, I guess I'll link this for the folk, oh no, he said he didn't want it uh, linked, so I won't link it then. No Selgor is fine, no Suicune, no Miltank, so... I'm actually kind of curious about that, because it looks to me like Darmanitan kind of just wrecks his face then, uh, because he opted to not bring the Suicune or the Miltank. If you haven't seen the Team Builder, be free, uh, feel free to check that out. I'm bringing a uh, Sash Drapion, uh, which actually can lead decently well against most things here. I can get a knockoff against a, a bunch of stuff um, and get T-Spikes up maybe, but the Salazzle is definitely a problem. Pillow Swine is my answer to the Coco and the Salazzle in theory. Uh, Serp can lead against some things, but probably doesn't lead against Salazzle. Um, that well, I'd have to imagine that Salazzle just kind of beats it. Uh, actually, I can take a hit from Salazzle if it's, like, Z. So, that's really interesting. Um, I can't do anything besides glare it, but that's maybe worthwhile. Uh, I'm Choppleberry Kieran Black for the Lopany. Scarf Darm looks really good, and actually my Celesteela, I'm regretting not having Heavy Slam on it now, but... Um, Acrobatics, once of my Citrus Berry pops, is probably going to be enough to deal with Bullaby and the Mew. Uh, and then Earthquake will deal with uh, Coco, Slazzle, Metagross. It's just Seed Bomb is just a wasted move slot here, so I'd rather have Acrobatics. But uh, I think my play should either be to lead Drapion or lead Serp. Expecting either a Coco or Slazzle lead or Metagross. And Drapion might just be the play for all of those then. So we'll just lead Drapion here. Volibee lead. Okay, so this is actually great for me because it means I get to knock off right away. Um, and we'll either get rid of the th Like, if we get rid of the things of Violate right now... Uh, wow, I wish these weren't Little Cup, but... Um, Violate. I probably should have, like, designed a set and then imported it. Um, I'm just going to knock off. I have no reason not to just knock off here. So he, he goes Lop. That's fine. Uh, I actually did 34 to the Lop. Wow. Lop it. So he didn't let me uh, get that off. Now, I did 34 with knockoff. When he Mega Evolves, I'm going to do 39 to 46 with Poison Jab. <sighs> this is also here as a Mew check, so I'm not sure if I want to just like Poison Jab right away. I think I'm going to, actually. He does just go straight for the High Jump Kick. Uh, that thing is just such a monster. We don't get the Poison. A little bit sad about that. Um, but I don't really know what his Darmanitan switch in is. So, I don't really have a reason to keep Drapion around here. Darmanitan against Volaby, which might be his lead. He was probably expecting a Darmanitan lead. Is it going to take this? Oh, it can switch into two. Reasonably easily. Reason reasonably easily. Um, oh, he's going to power up punch. Wow. Oh, that's scary. High jump kick, power up punch, fake out quick attack? Question mark. Um, is Adamant Lop going to kill my Darmanitan at plus one with a quick attack? Nope. I think I'd just go Darm. Is he in range of U-turn? He's not in range of U-turn. Hmm. I don't have Ice Shard. So this is where I don't, not having Ice Shard and Pillow Swine really is going to bite me in the ass. Um, I'm really not sure what his Flare Blitz answer is though. Like, it's got to be the Volibu, right? Slazzle. <sighs> yeah, Slazzle does not eat. So I guess I just click. Yeah, okay, so he's got the quick attack. But you know what? Honestly, having the Lopany dead, like that thing was such an issue. That thing was such an issue for my team. I'm very, very, very happy to see that Lopany dead. Um, I had no switch ins to, to an adamant Lopany, um, and I knew the quick attack was coming for 100% for my Mega Zam. Um, so it's nice to be able to have dealt with that and only sacrifice my Drapion, which in my mind doesn't really hold a ton of value for me in this game. Okay, so Salazzle comes in. I probably just go Pillow Swine here. Sludge Wave just did 12. So I'm curious about the Salazzle set against my Pillow Swine set now. Uh, I'm probably just going to set up Rocks, in all honesty. Sludge Wave just did 12. He's just like max. Uh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's actually probably fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, that's that's probably fine. I'll get a Brox this turn. I did not mean to click Roar there. 
Um, if he brought in Mew. Okay, so he brings in Mew again. <sighs> this is this is all right. Uh, I'll go Serp here. Psychic. Okay, so Psychic just did 56. Mew. Psychic just did 56. He's like choice specs Mew. Yeah, he specs Mew. Uh, I think I just glare this, honestly. I honestly don't care that I get, get synchroed. Uh, we get the full pair on him, which is perfect. And then I'm just going to Leaf Storm. Or do I glare again? You know what? I think I might glare again on a switch into Metagross. Is that the play? Or is damage better? I think, yeah, damage is actually better, probably. So we live, which is great, and now I might be able to just pick this off. <laughs> he has to let me do damage to something here. Unless I get full parrot and he doesn't, then that's a better scenario for him. He actually does go Metagross, so I was very much considering just clicking Glare there. That, uh, I mean, that was a crit. That took a lot more than I expected, though. Uh, I'm going to Glare here anyways. There's the Bullet Punch. I, I figured Bullet Punch was coming out. Really, really no reason not to. Um, I could go Darm here and pick this off. I could go Kyurem Black and click Earth Power. Um, Kyurem doesn't hold that much value to me anymore without Megalopony around. I could also just go Celesteela and set up an Autotomize. Do I just win? If I do that, it depends on the Volibee set, I think. Hmm. I need a Beast Boost before I can kill the Volibee. Um, Serp against Metagross. So, plus two crit Leaf Storm should have done way more, uh, which tells me this is probably like a Salt Bested. 38. Yeah, that's AV for sure. Uh, so, he's probably got Thunder Punch on there. EQ won't even kill this yet. But EQ into Rockswood. Alternative play is obviously just going Kieran Black. Um... Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Like, Kieran Black can pick off the Volibee for me, which is going to be really solid. I think keeping Pillowswine healthy is still a solid play here. I, I'm i not sure if the play is Darmanitan or Celesteela. Um, I think everything just dies to Blitz from Darmanitan at this range. But I think maybe Celesteela is the play and then just set up an Autotomize, I guess. I, I'll, do, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, if he switches into Volibee, I'm in a really shit spot, though. I'm going to have to likely just go hard cure him on it. Okay, so he actually goes for the Thunder Punch, pops my Citrus. And he's going to give me the Autotomize. So, Thunder Punch and a Bullet Punch might kill me is my big problem now. Um, Thunder Punch and a Bullet Punch. He did 54. So, yeah, he might... Oh, he actually just died. Oh, hello. Wait a second. <laughs> Hold up. Hold the phone. Um, unless he's Scarf Coco, I might just win? Question mark? Um, or I might not be able to take Salazzle, a Salazzle hit from this range. That's also an option, yeah. If he's Scarf Salazzle, I, I don't take a hit from it. Uh, but we broke the Metagross, and I put him into a position where he's forced to go Salazzle, which is also something worthwhile to note. Uh, I didn't, really didn't think I was going to get that kill. Um, I didn't. It didn't look like it was a roll on the... Uh, I don't have an item anymore. I gotta calc that, factor that in my calcs. Because uh, Acro might just be able to kill the Volibee now after rocks. So he goes Coco. He's probably Scarfed. I'm just going to risk it. He is Scarfed and he's indeed Scarf Wild Charge, which is worthwhile to note there. Um, I think I'm just going to roar out now because we know that he's Scarfed. And we'll get more chip on the Volibee, which is going to be really valuable. Salazzle comes in. Even better. Let's EQ this. Kill it. Yeah, this is really solid for my Coco or for my Pillow Swine right now. That was pretty bad bait over here. <laughs> it's like really bad bait. 
Okay, Mew comes in now. Uh, I've got to kind of decide where I want to take this with the Mew now. The Specs Mew. Choice Specs Mew. Paralyzed. So he's hitting 149. He's actually still going to outspeed me. Uh, Specs Psychic won't kill me. I could Earthquake or I could just Roar out again. Bring something in for more Rocks Chip. What's more valuable to me? Earthquake, probably. Full pair. Okay, so full para definitely sucks for him then. Because uh, it does mean that that's really going to matter on this next Earthquake, I think. Kieran Black might just be able to win this game, by the way. Kieran Black might just be able to win this game. Okay, so Coco comes in. We know this is Choice Scarfed. I don't think there's a move it can lock itself into that'll beat my Kieran Black. Oh, actually, Iron Head would do it. Iron Head would do it. Uh, is Iron Head going to be enough for Darm, though? I feel like it's not. He's max attack. Let's say Adamant Scarf, right? With Iron Head. Nope. That's not going to do anything to my Darm. So I can just Flare Blitz or I could just U-turn. I think Flare Blitz is probably the better play. We'll just kill off the Volibi. And then he's going to have to lock himself into something here. Iron Head and we break through and win. So uh, we pick up the 1-0 win against Cade and the uh, Tucson Tapu Coco. We're going to be the only undefeated team left in the league. Uh, those Paras really sucked on his Mew, but, you know, that's what happens. I played for the Paras. I mean, I'm not going to apologize for that. I, I literally clicked Glare for a reason, right? Um, I don't really know how much the second para mattered. The first para against the superior definitely mattered, but uh, the difference between him killing Pillaswine with Mew and not killing Pillaswine didn't really matter to me. Because I think either way, I just go Darm, click U-turn, go into my Kieran Black. Uh, and Kieran Black would have been able to kill the Coco and the Volby from that range. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next week, we take on... Uh, Nacho in the Detroit Rainbow Wings. He's had a pretty disappointing start to the season, but he was a finalist last season. Uh, he's 0-4 currently, and we're the only 4-0 team. So we're the only undefeated team taking on the only team without a win. So that's a lot of pressure on us to pick up a win in that match, actually. Uh, we'll sort of see how that matchup um, changes things. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys for week five.